So let's go through the rather simple experimental procedure fairly quickly. First of all, we're going to take 10 cubic centimeters of my mixed solution, put it in a conical flask, add the phenolphthalein first of all. Now we're going to titrate the solution with HCl to the first endpoint. That's where the phenolphthalein goes from pink to colorless. And we're going to add in the methyl orange, continue the titration, and then wait until the color changes from the methyl orange, where it changes from yellow in the more basic solution to orange in the acidic solution. And of course, repeat is needed to get consistent results. So first of all, pipette 10 cubic centimeters mixed solution into a conical flask and add phenolphthalein. It's very basic because we got the sodium hydroxide and the sodium carbonate phenolphthalein pink in a basic solution. Rinse clean burette with the HCl solution. And we're starting off here with about 0.2 cubic centimeters at the start, 0.2 milliliters at the start. So I'm going to titrate it with the HCl to the first endpoint. Here's my colorless phenolphthalein there. And that happens once we've added here about 22.12. You could go a little bit more 22.2 something, but I'm going to stay 22.2 there. So in other words, we've added about 22 milliliters of the HCl to get rid of the sodium hydroxide and all the sodium carbonate turned to hydrogen carbonate. Then we add in the methyl orange, which turns it yellow because now we're on the basic side of the color change and methyl orange is yellow in base. Keep adding the titration, then point where the color changes to orange there. And that happens at this particular volume here. So that's 35. So up here is 34, 34.5, 34.6, 34.7, about 34.8 cubic centimeters. So fairly straightforward reaction, just the titration. The only trick is that you're using two indicators. You start with phenolphthalein that's pink. When that goes colorless, you then add the methyl orange, which is yellow, and then continue on until that turns orange.